Welcome back. I wanted to do a video to explain what happens to your zones, particularly your endurance zones, zone one and zone two, as your fitness improves. And I've been at the bike testing for about six months now, and I'm seeing some positive movements in my zones and in my performance. In other words, my lactate per watt at my break points is coming down and my first turn point, my first lactate turn point, the border between zone one and zone two is moving to the right. It's a higher power. And this happens in all our sports. And I think many people expect their zone two to get wider. And that's not necessarily what the what's gonna happen for you. And what I wanted to do was explain using my own data what you can kind of expect to have happen. So I got this page up here and it's four lactate tests running from October, uh, actually August, September, December, and January. So across a fairly long period. And this red line is kind of a linear profile. And what you can see is that pretty much as soon as I start pedaling, and increasing the power, my lactate starts going up. So I'm not particularly fit. And this is happening at a really low heart rate, about 107 beats per minute for me. And then each line is happening later in the year. And then the very bottom line is January of this year. And by January of this year, I have a baseline. And my baseline goes out to about 200 watts. And then the lactate turns upwards and it starts climbing and that would be a more normal curve but to get to that normal curve it took me quite a bit of training I'd say about 14 hours a week for 30 weeks say so and I was very consistent over this period in terms of my my cycling particularly with my low-end cycling and what's happening is my aerobic threshold is increasing from about 150 watts up to 200 watts. And what that means is my zone one is moving to the right. So let me just show you here. So my, this is my current curve, the full curve. That was a segment of the curve. And so my easy zone right now is from 200 watts down, whereas back in August, my easy zone was ending at about 150 watts. So my zone two is not necessarily getting wider. My zone two is moving to the right. And when we say to the right, it means it's a higher power or pace. What's getting wider is my zone one. My zone one has moved from, you know, it was probably about, it was 150 watts and lower in the summer. And here we are six months along and it's 200 watts or lower. So my zone one is much wider. And that's the change that you can expect to have happen. Now, when you're starting out with training, particularly with your running, what feels like an easy pace might not be an easy pace. And what you will find and discover if you try and hold that easy pace for a period of time, one hour, an hour and a half, is that your heart rate's gonna start climbing up and, that, and, and the per perceived exertion, the way it feels, is gonna be climbing too. And that's because you don't necessarily have a pace that is metabolically easy for you. You'll see this very quickly with your swimming. If you're a new swimmer, you won't have the ability to swim easy. Any pace you choose is gonna feel very difficult after a few minutes. And so what you're gonna to need to do with your swimming and your running is break that up. And there's an article that I'll put in the video description called Using the Bike for Your Metabolic Training. And that'll give you some ideas in terms of how to build your easy pace. The ability to go easy is a foundational part of your fitness. So I hope this helps. Question comes up quite a bit on social media. And so I want to do a quick video to help you out. I'll see you next time.